Can you imagine if you were Tony Stark designing the first Iron Man suit? Throw a little hot rod red in there. The render is complete. A unique and remarkable work of art created by humans and AI. Tech Bros want you to think that that's what we have now, but it's not. What we have now is AI systems that are designed to deliberately steal from artists. Today we're going to show how AI art is going to replace every artist in the future, but right now, and probably for a long time, it will mostly exploit them. When you think of AI, you probably start to imagine movies that you feel represent real artificial intelligence. The Matrix, Terminator, Blade Runner, Ex Machina. You imagine something so close to being human that you can't really tell the difference. At least not until someone told you directly. What passes for AI in today's world is not that advanced. While it still is a complex technology, deep learning is categorically different from how our brain works. And that distinction is important when talking about AI. Analogies to the brain are misleading because it causes us to imagine those movies that we watch. Yet those kinds of comparisons are made even by big tech companies. Deep learning is more comparable to a database. It depends entirely on the data points that it was constructed with. Meaning with AI art, the quality of what you get out depends on what you put into it. This could be more comparable to how Google search works. The more high quality sites that it indexes, the uh, better your results will be when you search for something. If you search for something like how to draw, the system will search the index for matching pages and return what it thinks is the highest quality and most relevant search results. Similarly, if you put a prompt into an AI art engine, it will search the index to match images to the words that you chose to deliver the highest quality results. Again, those results entirely depend on what was put into the database in the first place, aka your art and the art of all of the artists that you look up to. AI art is not inherently evil, and it's not bad technology, but in a society that's hell-bent on making money at the expense of people's livelihoods, it's a hazard. Not only will it harm an artist's ability to make money, it will plagiarize their work with a system they never agreed to opt into. Just by putting an artist's name into an AI prompt will generate something in their style. James Gurney, who's a veteran of the art industry and created Dinotopia and Color and Light, said that, I think it's only fair to people looking at this work that they should know what the prompt was and also what software was used. Also, I think the artist should be allowed to opt in or opt out of having their work that they worked so hard on by hand be used as a data set for creating this other artwork. When you put your work up in a gallery setting, the artist provides the medium. Oil paint, charcoal, AI, it's only natural to provide the same level of transparency. And yet the most toxic AI art users are extremely cagey about the prompts that they've used and more than a little entitled about their entire process. They are willfully ignoring the harm that they're doing to artists who spent years honing their skills. Some are generally so toxic that they see themselves as visionaries for a revolution of the creative process. True AI might do that. But that's not what we have. They're not Tony Stark, they're Ocean's Eleven. Except they're not a cool group of people stealing from a rich casino. They're a single individual who is using an AI system to take our artwork without our permission. And they're using it to morph it into some abstract plagiarism. If you think I'm wrong, you should see how these AI systems are trained to detect watermarks and ignore them. These AI companies are knowingly taking copyrighted works of art and using them as they please. Which is strange when you consider Stability AI, which used their music version of this called Dance Diffusion, using an entirely different method. They built their database from copyright free music and allowed musicians to opt in. Why is this not the same for visual artists? Could it be that traditionally artists have had less rights and have been more exploited and music labels traditionally sue the pants off of anybody who comes after their music inappropriately. Visual artists are constantly shafted and music labels constantly sue. So you can imagine that Stability AI probably took that into consideration. They can get away with screwing over visual artists, they will. 
To make it worse, regulation is too slow to keep up with this fast-moving tech, and even the copyright laws in place are not very beneficial for artists. Even if companies get a hold of this technology, it's only going to exploit an artist's time. We didn't switch to digital art just because it was cool and awesome technology. It was faster, and it let artists create at a much larger and faster scale, which saves big companies time and money, and lets them make a lot more money too. This is the capitalistic hellscape that we live in. I want to go on the record after saying a lot of negative things about AI art that I actually think it's quite fascinating and has a lot of positives too. Under different circumstances, I very much would love to embrace it. On one side, we have people who may not be able to create normally. Think of disabled people who are unable to draw or paint. Maybe they don't have arms or they have tremors so they're not able to keep the pen or pencil still. Even people with aphantasia struggle to become artists because they can't imagine things in their head. This kind of technology will be game changing for them and we can't ignore or vilify a piece of technology just because some people are going to use it for evil, especially when it can be such a huge benefit to others. On the other hand, we have future AI. True AI would not be like the database we described, it would be very much like how a human would create. In this case, you would be like Tony Stark, and you could create blazingly fast character concepts simply by telling an AI a few words. But then, who's the creator at that point? If we could create this very real artificial intelligence, seemingly no different from a human, it would be better than a human in many ways. It could process information faster than you, it could store more information, it could go through hundreds of iterations in its head before you could even blink. Your input might actually hold it back from creating something truly beautiful. And if at that point it thinks for itself, it may not want you to be a part of the equation at all. Then we come right back full circle to us being individuals again. Some of us AI, and some of us humans. It's a weird thing to think about, but equally fascinating. Say for a moment that AI does replace all artists. Take a moment to relax and breathe because that is not gonna happen in your lifetime. Rather than living in a capitalistic hellscape, we have something more like socialism, where all your needs are taken care of. No one needs a job. AI and robots pretty much take care of everything. Anything you want can be provided for you. Would you still be an artist if it was truly just a hobby? I would. Maybe I wouldn't feel so much pressure to become an extremely skilled artist in a short amount of time, but it still would be the creative process that I enjoy. It's fun to learn new skills and create things from my own mind, even when I know a computer can do it better. It's only mine, and I'm only proud of myself when I do it, and I go through the process with its ups and downs. AI art is exciting right now, but those abstract images will lose their novelty over time, especially when they can't really produce any helpful results. It can't really be used to design illustrations, social ads, take anybody's job. At most, they can supplement the creative process albeit while plagiarizing from a number of artists. Pretty soon they're gonna start stealing from each other's AI art and maybe then they'll start to understand what we mean about plagiarism. Either way, the excitement will die down in the same way that NFTs did. It's a technology that promises a lot of things but follows through on none of them. If you're an artist or you want to be one in the future, all you have to concern yourself with is if you want to draw. Do you want to learn to draw and paint for yourself? If the answer is yes, then don't let anything stop you. Certainly don't let AI art be a deterrent for your ambition. There is and always will be a place for you to create. That was our episode for today. That was a lot more research into AI than I expected. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a happy and healthy creative process.